<clears throat> Hello, is this thing on? Hey guys, we are doing a video today as a sort of train of consciousness experiment where I'm just gonna rant about my train of thought as I do a run in Wizard of Legend. First thing first, this video was a request by a buddy of mine. He wanted to know what I do on my runs, and the most important thing to do on your runs is to switch to classic, or from classic, or this is piano. So the top of the jukebox changes colors based on what music you have selected. This one is piano. Red's classic, but the important one is sweet jazz. You gotta have jazz. So let's do it. So of course, you start a run by starting a run. And we've got Wind Boy. He's weak to fire? Oh, fire's gonna be good. I wanna say he's weak to fire, and I think the Ice Lady is also weak to fire, which is kinda strange. I don't know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But first things first, as I run around, and break everything I can and kind of watch the mini-map right here because it kind of decides where I'm going. I don't really want a Pharynx's Hourglass because I know what that relic is, but a free relic on a run, that's pretty dope. I'm gonna take it anyway. Oh, hell. So we're gonna cheese it a little bit, man. We're gonna shoot stuff in here. Try to get something to happen. There we go. What? But not legally. And it's better to keep your health. I wanted to use the uh, set of spells from the museum in order to showcase that you can uh, use fundamentals anywhere, right? So we just got a free artifact. That's awesome. If you uh, pay attention to the fundamentals, like these are rogues. You can tell they look roguey. They got the knives, they got the hood, they're sneaky. So we're gonna aggro them. You know they're gonna come after us. Look at that. Oh. Well, I hate the Sky Palace. It uh, can get you killed. You can lose 25 HP every time you fall off of one of these doohickles platforms. So try to be careful with your jumps, try to fight defensively, break everything you can for the money. Looks like we have the nurse, I think. She is alright. Ah, oh, goddamn. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now I've cursed. I shouldn't have cursed. Oh, goodness gracious. Yep. So she's gonna steal one of your spells, since I only have one spell she can take right now, because that's all I got. But she'll take one of these, maybe. I don't really care if she can have it. What'd she give us? I think that sucks. Oh, that's actually alright. She just, uh... She can give you a hammer that does damage based off the amount of HP you have on a percentage. That's a fantastic item. Sorry, the jazz is kicking my ass. Now. So as you run around and get money, you pay attention to enemy types. Like these eyeball guys, I kind of suck against them aggressive. You just wait for them to shoot somewhere. Throw somewhere. We're gonna rush along to a boss or two and just kind of showcase that the game makes you think you need to go at a faster pace than you do. And I mean, there's a whole speed running community. It's fantastic. Especially if you use, like, bolt rail as your basic or something. I'm not sure I'll get a joke or two about that. But see, I don't even have just too good. It's too powerful. That's why you gotta switch to the jazz. See, you don't know it right now, but it's carrying my wisdom. Okay. I think these portraits are like the developers. But notice that if you just calm down and run around, you can figure out what you're gonna do. There's a particular enemy where that's no longer so easy. You know, little javelin guys. Um, they do all kinds of weird jump 
some some projectiles, but you know, hang out. You know, I enter the room, we start the fight. I hang out on the walls, I run around, I throw something, I dodge, I see what I can do. And then you just be real careful. Oh my gosh, those home? I didn't even know those home. Great. I'm learning something too. About how crazy the layout of this particular sky palace is. I really thought that was gonna be quick. Or at 75. Oh, these guys. These are the ones you gotta kind of watch the running around from. Because um, they develop a better AI the deeper you go into the trial. And once they hit around, I'd say the third, fourth boss onward, they get this ability to jump or throw the sphere. And it has the same exact targeting circle, but you're not gonna know which one they inherited. And it's always gonna kind of surprise you. They're the tricky ones. Also, they just seem to have a little more range than you would think. Here, I'm gonna pick the Journal of Midas. It gives me gold back when I defeat things consecutively without getting hit, and that's basically what I need is gold. We can't find the boss, so I'm gonna hit M. I'm lost. I don't know where anything is. We're gonna go to somewhere we haven't explored. We're looking over here. We're gonna break that stuff. Hit him. The statue of the guy. What's here? Besides blue. And you just kind of do the thing where you don't get hit. If you focus on not getting hit, and you don't focus on hitting, you'll find that your runs start to last a lot longer. And then, then you start to learn the movements, like those guys hiding behind their statues. Uh, oh gosh, they're so fast. See that? I can't actually get a... There we go. Where'd the other one go? He must have died. I just assumed his death. Finally. Counter Rogue. Alright, so just run around. Dodge. Take it slow. Pop, pop, pop. Try to take out the ranged people first, you know. Once he's alone, bait him out. When he's got this yellow highlighted aura, he's not going to stagger if you hit him. When he doesn't have it, he will. Look at that. Oh, see, I got too aggressive and I got punched. Pop. And just uh, be careful, bait him out, finish him off. We'll see the Arcana shop, but we'll probably find it later. So let's run through another one. Or you know what, let's just run through the Windmaster. And then I'll show you a different build. Just for fun. And then I'll show you a slight exploit that's well known amongst the community if you are getting frustrated and just want to farm some gems or something really easy. But I warn you, if you don't want to know that exploit, it could ruin some balance issues for you, so. Cancel out of the video if you don't want to see it. It's well known, though. And it's, there's a reason why it's good to visit the museum, kid. Well, they are weak to fight. That's so bizarre. Well, you need thermal like this whole castle to be able to float in the sky and with the cold air. You want it to be on the thermal, don't you? And I don't know anything that I'm talking about, so I'm saying the dumbest stuff. More power to it, I guess. But you also want to be aggressive enough that enemies can't charge up their attacks. Okay, this guy will never stack, no matter what you do, but you can do this all day. See what I mean? And watch, you're gonna take a minute. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Free artifact. That's a good thing. Now. I run around, and we're about to lose our signature, so cast it anyway. 
Why not? There's an artifact where you get an attack for every time you cast your signature. That's where I got that habit from. Like a pen or something. Oh, God. So, this sucks. Try to stay- Oh man, this sucks. Hey, the Arcana Shop. Don't worry, he's not gonna help you. He wouldn't want to steal it. So like I said, try to be defensive. Those guys counter me pretty hard. I like to upgrade my basic attack first. that thing. Screw it. Mm. Sure. Why not? That's actually in my earth build. <laughs> That's the... Uh, maybe I should have picked something else. This guy's cool if you pick up an artifact you don't want. You can sell it to him. Let's see. Oh my gosh. A lot of people are gonna get pissed off I did that. There seems to be like a cult following for that artifact. in my rope of justice. I like that. Poison zone. I use the uh, signature variant of it. So I throw a bunch of them around the room. Oh, it roots? Got a long cooldown. So, like, if I trap someone on the spikes, I could root them in the corner and take the bait. That sounded a lot more intelligent in my head. Anyway, let's find this guy. And that's the next lesson. You don't have to fight every room. You can run through them. Some of them will knock you down. Obviously, these are ones you have to fight. Check what your abilities do. You can see the enhanced stats right down here. Right down here. It's like over there. So yeah, you can run around with the map open. I don't necessarily advise it, but you can. Who's after me? Oh, I can attack faster if I dash backward a little bit. That's why I do that. It might be a bad habit. It might be a good one. I don't know. You tell me. Taking your time, playing defensively, watching the opponent's attack pattern. Knowing when to go in and punish them. It doesn't matter if you use their elemental weakness or not. What matters is attacking them at the right time. See, 
see that's the right time. He starts playing with his little Rasengan down there. You gotta beat him up to be a little kid. Well, you don't have to beat up little kids. But, you know, you should be paying attention to fighting you. Then you just take your time. He's gonna do a little sucky in move. You don't punish him. Oh, he tried to sneaky sneaky. I just got through without taking a hit. That's a hard one. Yeah, they get their own ultimates and signatures as well, so you gotta watch out for that. See, I got a little aggressive there. So the status element that's covering me when I'm covered in wind there is lowering the amount of distance that I can dash. And there you have it. Believe in your fundamentals. And you can also beat down wizards that are legends. Oh man, is this done recording yet?